Text log, 11 2018 beginning 10.24 p.m. Hello? Did someone find my phone? Yeah, I did. I work maintenance at the hospital, and it was in the discard pile for old lost and found. I wasn't trying to steal it or anything. They just get rid of unclaimed lost stuff after a month. The tag said this was left there back in late September. If you want it back, though, that's cool. What hospital was this? Uh, River North Hospital. Tag said it was left by a John Doe. Guess that's you uh, in the ER. So, is that you? (sighs) Yeah, it is. I didn't have money for the doctor, so I decided to leave without giving my name. Damn, man, that sucks. Nice phone, though. I thought I'd hit the jackpot tonight. Just charged it and turned it on when you sent the text. Must have been looking for it, huh? Yeah, I got an alert when the power back on. Uh, when can I get it back? Well, I can bring it back into the hospital tomorrow afternoon. Tell them to hold it for you until you can come by to pick it up. Well, that might work. Or I could just come and get it from you tonight. I'm not that far away from you right now, as a matter of fact. <laughs> Great joke, man. Points for being creepy, but no, I'll just leave it in the lost and found tomorrow. Have a good night. I'm not joking. You live on Abercorn Street, right? I can see the GPS location from my phone, too, and I'm familiar with that area. You live in that big apartment building, I bet. (sighs) Look, man, I'm not trying to be weird or nothing, but I don't know you. And I'd rather just drop it by work and let you get it officially if that's cool. See, it it would be, but I'm flying out in the morning. Going to be gone for two weeks and I need that phone. I've been using a burner for over a month and I have too much stuff on there that I need when I'm gone. That's why I've been watching so close for it to come back on. Please, I'm not some nut, but I really need to get my phone tonight. Please, I'll, I'll, I'll pay you a finder's fee. No, no, no need for that. Look, I live in Belvedere Apartments. Text me when you get here and I'll run it down to you. Will that work? Yeah, awesome. Thank you so much. I'll text you in about 15 minutes. Thanks again. Text log, 11-4-2018, beginning 11.08 p.m. Okay, I'm about to be outside. Cool, on my way down. But... Where are you? I'm standing right outside the front door of the building. Gray sweater. Hello? It's cold and I'm about to head back in. Are you here or not? Okay, fuck this. I'm sorry, dude. I don't know if you got lost or what, but you'll have to pick it up at the hospital. Later. Text log. 11-15-2018. Beginning 1-18 a.m. Sorry, I didn't come get the phone. It's just that I got to thinking. Did you look for my phone? Did you? What the fuck? No. I didn't look at your fucking phone. I'm trying to sleep. Fuck off and get it back from the hospital. Are you sure? Are you sure you didn't look at my phone? Look at what, you freak? I think you did. I think you saw the pictures, the videos, everything. Get your phone at the hospital. You text me again, and I will look through your phone and call the cops for harassment. No. You call the cops, you die. Who the fuck is this? Is this Jamie? Jamie, is this some kind of fucking prank? It's not cool, man. I'm tired of this shit. This isn't Jamie. Then who is it? A friend. For now. Don't text me again. Text log. 11-5-2018. Beginning 2.42 a.m. Okay. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry I took your phone. I'll drop it off wherever you want. I don't know who you are, and I don't want to know. I haven't called anybody. I just want to get your phone back and leave me alone. So you did look at the phone. Yeah, I I really hadn't before, but I did now. Just, just a little. Was all that real? Please tell me if it was fake. I, I won't be mad. It was real. Though, if it makes you feel better, nothing is traceable back to a particular known crime, so you're not withholding evidence by not calling the cops. I swear I didn't. I, I won't. I just want out of this. Let me get you your phone back or destroy it or whatever you want. Just let me be rid of it and I'll forget you even exist. I swear. I believe you. Mostly. The problem is, mostly believing you still means you have to die. What? I don't know anything. I don't. But you do. And so if you're going to avoid dying, you have to make me fully believe you. Okay. What do you want me to do? Well... For me to fully believe you, I need you to be invested in this. Invested in what I do. What's on that phone? Be a party to it. So that telling on me is also telling on yourself. Understand? I, 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 can't, I, can't, I can't do that. I, I can't hurt someone. I think you'd be surprised what you can do when you're given a little push. But I don't expect much from you. You're new to all that. And I'm not unreasonable, so we'll start with something simple. You need to pick. Pick... pick what? You need to pick the next person I... meet. The next person I treat like you've seen on that phone. I can't do that. I, I won't do that. I think you can and will. If I'm wrong, I'll accept my mistake. And I'll console myself by coming to see you instead. I'll call the cops instead. <laughs> Go ahead. There's nothing on that phone that can be traced back to me. They won't find me now any more than anyone has before. But I'll find you. I always find the things I really need. And if you betray my confidences like that, well, I will need to meet you. Okay, okay, I, I was just bluffing. No cops, but I, I can't tell you to hurt someone. I didn't say you had to tell me what to do. I'll decide what happens to them, but I need you to give me a name. Share enough responsibility that I know you won't tell on us. Fuck. I, I don't know. You've got until sunrise. Think carefully. I'll expect an answer by 7 a.m. Ta-ta for now. Text log. 11-5-2018. Beginning. 7.01 a.m. Cock-a-doodle-doo. Time's up. Jim Purvis. Oh. Who's he? Why does it matter? Who is he? He's a piece of shit drunk that used to date my mother. He beat her, too. When I was 15, I tried to stop him. He broke my arm and then broke his hand on my head. Guess which one of us mom stayed with at the hospital. Interesting. Is he alive? Last I heard, he was working upstate for a logging company. Physical description? Old, fat, white guy? Won't your mother be sad at your choice? My mom died when I was 20. Did he do it? 
piece of shit left her for some bar skank that he met. I think my mom died of a broken heart. Hmm. I like your choice. You get to live today. Keep the phone on you and charged up. I'll be in touch. Text log. 11-6-2018. Beginning 12-13pm. Video received. This little piggy, MP4. Watch it. Fuck. That was him. You did it. We did it. Is he dead? (laughs) What do you think? Is he? Of course. Okay. So, is this done? We're done? No. You'll know when you're done. Please. Let me just give you the phone back. You have dirt on me now, okay? I will say it right here. I asked you to kill Jim Purvis. You only did it because of me. Okay. Isn't that good enough? The more you talk about not going to the cops, the more I think you will. You're eroding that trust you built. I'm sorry. Fuck, I, I'm just scared. I just want this to be over. You're not scared. You don't know how to be really scared yet. I'm really trying to work with you on this, give you a chance to earn my trust, but your whining is boring. If I get too bored, I'm going to give up and come see you. Do you understand? Yes, I got it. What do you need me to do so that you can fully trust me? The next thing I need you to do is hurt someone. I'm not saying kill anybody, and though it should go without saying, don't get caught. Don't make the mistake of thinking you'll be safe if you get arrested. How bad do I have to hurt them? Like, punch them or something? I didn't say it had to be physical, though it can be. Do what you think will satisfy me. You'll either be right or wrong. But whatever it is, record it with the camera on my phone. Send me the video as soon as it's done. I'm not trying to whine, but I I don't know if I can do this. That's up to you. Time to see if you value someone else's discomfort more than your own life. You have until 6pm tonight to send me the video. Happy hunting. Text log, 11-6-2018, beginning 5.45 p.m. Video upload failed. Video upload failed. Video uploaded. Done. Dot mp4. There. I did it. Text log, 11-6-2018, beginning 6.21 p.m. Did you get it? Was that okay? I got it. I've been thinking about it. Weighing it. You said it didn't have to be physical. I remember what I said. Look, maybe the video doesn't do a good job of explaining it. That car belongs to a homeless girl that lives near me. A homeless person with a car. Yeah, she's been living out of her car. Been doing it for at least six months. She swaps out between a few different parking spots so she gets less hassle. But busting out her windows like that, especially as cold as it's getting, is going to hurt her a lot. And like you said, she wasn't around and no one saw me. Hmm. 
I think that a person's actions tell you a great deal about what they believe, what they value. Would you agree? Uh, yeah, I guess so. What you did was mean-spirited, I suppose. It will cause this woman some degree of discomfort, assuming that your little story is even true. You could have just vandalized some random car and then made up the part about a poor homeless girl to make it more compelling. No, I, I swear, you could even see all her clothes and the sleeping bag in the video. I made sure. Either way, the real question is, does this act represent how much you value your life? This petty act of breaking windows, this act of an unruly child. You said it didn't have to be physical. Or do you want more time to prove how much you value living? Another chance to show me that I can fully trust you. Or are you just wasting my time? No. No, you can trust me. I, I swear you can... I'll do better. Please, let me have another chance. I'll do better. Please? Hello? Please? Text log. 11-6-2018, beginning 8.49 p.m. Video uploaded. Molly.mp4 Did you get it? I'll do more. I, I just want to make sure you got it. The little girl is named Molly. She's the daughter of a woman I used to date. I've had the same dog for years. Chester. I love that fucking dog. Loved. That's why she's screaming like that when she found him in the yard. I think I understand now. I think you want to see how it hurt her more than you want to see me hurting the dog. If I'm wrong, please tell me. I recorded the other two. That was really hard for me. I really care for that girl and her mother. I've, I've never hurt an animal before, but I want to give you what you want. I want you to trust me. Please let me know if this is okay. Text block, eleven six eighteen. Beginning, nine eleven p.m. That's better. I noticed you shot the video where I could see it was a little girl, but not what she or her house looked like. Her name isn't Molly either, is it? No, it is. But I don't want you knowing who or where they are for obvious reasons. Is that why you didn't carry my phone with you like I told you to? Is that why you recorded the footage on your own phone and then transferred it to mine before you sent it? I give you some credit for thinking about me tracking my phone, but you still disobeyed my instructions. If you don't trust me, how can I trust you? I'm sorry. It won't happen again. I was just trying to keep anyone else from getting involved. I wonder if old Chester thinks he's not involved. Or Molly. How'd you kill him? I fed him poison food. I cut his throat after he was dead to make sure she would scream for the video. Was Chester an outside dog? Yeah. Well, he stayed in the backyard during the day. At night, they'd always let him in when they got home for a few hours. Sometimes he slept inside, too. How'd you know when they'd find him? Molly goes to her mother's store after school. They don't get home until after eight most weeknights. It was tight, but it was done by the time Molly came out to get Chester tonight. How long has it been since you saw Molly and Chester? I don't know, a year, maybe? What would you have done if Chester hadn't been there? What 
what you mean. Well, you went there to make a second video, with poison and a knife. What if Chester had died, or ran off since you'd last been around? What would you have done then? I, I, I don't, I don't know. I'd have figured something else out. Hmm. I see. Good enough for tonight. Sweet dreams. Text log. 11718. Beginning. 638 AM. Video received. Sleepy time. MP4. You're cute when you're asleep. You were in my apartment? This was from last night? Why? I... I'm doing what you asked. Why? Because I need you to trust me. Before this, you might have thought that I wasn't sure who you were or where you lived or that I couldn't get to you, that something other than my word was keeping me from meeting you. Now you know better, don't you? Now we're getting closer to knowing where each other stands in this. still in here? No. I'm absolutely not watching you from your bedroom closet. <laughs> Just kidding. Leaving the phone at the hospital wasn't an accident, was it? <laughs> Look. I'll do what you want. But I just want your word that there is a way for me to get out of this. Other than you killing me, I mean. There is... You don't have to die to finish this. You have my word. Thank you. Do you need me to do something else today? Initiative? I like that. Today I only need two simple things from you. First, I need you to pick another person for me. This time it needs to be someone you don't know. Meet someone today. Get their name and take a picture of them. Send me both and also where you met them. I'll take care of the rest. Okay. What's the second thing? Go into the app drawer on my phone. I want you to open up an app and familiarize yourself with it for later use. Okay, what app? It's called Polter Zeitgeist. Find that ghost. You can't miss it. Okay, you just... Want me to look at it? For the time being, yes. And give me your next pick by 3 p.m. Ta-ta for now. Text log. 11-7-18. Beginning. 10-23 a.m. Image uploaded. 1A23110718.jpg two three one one zero seven one eight dot JPEG. His name is Harry Parks. I met him at a coffee shop near the hospital. I've seen him before, but never talked to him. I just made small talk in line and then took the picture after making contact. He shouldn't know I took the pic or suspect anything. Very good. I like you being careful. I'll be in touch soon. Text log, 11-7-18, beginning 2-18 p.m. Are you at work? You know that I am. Hmm. I know that my phone is at the hospital. Are you at work? Yes, I am. Go to a secluded place and open the Poulter Zeitgeist app. Okay, just a minute. Chat log from Polter Zeitgeist Find That Ghost, 11 7 18, beginning 2 23 p.m. Hello there. Is this you, the burner phone? Of course. I like your pick. You failed to mention in your detailed report of how you met him that he was an armed, out-of-uniform police officer. 
I'm assuming you knew he had a gun and that he was from law enforcement. Yes. I didn't lie to you. I'd never talked to him before, but I'd seen him in uniform at the coffee shop a couple of times, and he did have a gun and a black holster today. It was under a jacket. But I saw it when we were in line. But I figured it wouldn't be any problem for you anyway. (laughs) I appreciate your confidence in me. It's well placed. Video received. Eating. Dot mp4. Oh, God. Yes. Now it's your turn again. Listen carefully, because while I appreciate your attempt at being clever, I'm not in the mood to repeat myself or listen to you whine. Are we clear? Yes. Good. This app has many functions, but one of them is to serve as a guide. It contains a map that will show you where you need to go. When we finish talking, go to the map and you'll find a yellow star on it. You need to reach that star no later than 4.45 p.m. Do not leave work to reach the star earlier than necessary, but keep watch on the map regularly. Make sure you can reach it on time. Get stuck in traffic or lose your way, and you will have failed. And what happens if you fail will make what the cop went through look like a paradise. I won't fail. I promise. Good. I have faith in you. When you are within 15 meters of the person the star represents and the time is 4.43 or later, you will receive further instructions from the app on how to complete your task. It should go without saying that you should avoid being conspicuous, be aware of any security or surveillance, and generally avoid getting caught. If you get caught, that counts as a failure, too. Okay. I'll do it. After you hit accept on the task it gives you, the app will start recording video. Leave the app open until the task is completed. When you're finished, hit send and wait for me to contact you. Do you understand? Yes, uh, I won't mess this up. We'll see. Chat log from Poltergeist guys find that ghost. Eleven seven eighteen, beginning five fifteen p.m. Good job. My hands are shaking. Fuck! You made me do that. <laughs> no, you chose to do that. You decided you valued yourself more than a stranger. Who was she? Her name was Allison Murphy. Why her? She used to have a fairly boring job as a law clerk that one day led to her having some excitement, seeing a small part of how this all works. She was invited to participate but declined. Instead, she decided to just talk to others about things she didn't understand. Her talking about it wasn't the problem. Her lack of participation, however. Well, you know how I feel about people that don't want to participate. Did she know where she'd be? That she'd be alone at the top of that parking garage like that? I knew she'd most likely be at one of the six places at that particular time. She hadn't established several relevant patterns of behavior in the past few weeks. Another was returning to her car between 4.40 and 4.55 p.m. when it was parked at that location. All of this, combined with the app tracking, made the place you found her the most likely place she would be. But that's still just an educated guess. What if she did something different? Uh, Came back early or late? What if at 4.45 she was in the middle of a grocery store full of people? Well, then you would have to figure something else out. Just like you would have had to find other places to stick your poison and knife if poor old Chester wasn't there to kill. Okay. What if she just left her car this morning, got on a bus and went to another state, went somewhere I couldn't reach in time? 
<laughs> oh no. Did you think this was all about you? That you're the only one I'm connecting with? You did, didn't you? Wherever she went, whatever she did, Allison Murphy was going to die today. Luckily for you, she was close to your hospital. Even better for you, she was pushed from the sixth story of a sparsely populated parking garage that has no cameras. So there are others like me. There are others, but each of you is special and unique. Text log 7418 beginning 101 a.m. So you found the phone I added to the box. Can I assume you've gone through the rest of my private valuables then? Yes, I did. I didn't know the combination to open the lock on the book, and I don't know how to open the small metal box, but yeah. I looked at the rest. You're insane. Sanity is a relative concept. You think that Independence Day is a good movie, for example, yet I don't judge. Okay. What do you want from me? Do you appreciate the fact that I can find you now? Yes, I just want this to be over. Well, you're about to take the first step towards that. Look in the box. Do you see a clay pumpkin? Yes. Great. Now pull up the app drawer of the phone you're using. I want you to familiarize yourself with an app called Polter Zeitgeist Find That Ghost. Why? Because tomorrow it's going to show you where you need to take that little pumpkin and what to do when you get there. Chat log from Polter Zeitgeist Find That Ghost. 7718, beginning 1219 p.m. I can't keep doing this. Whatever sick game this is, I can't do it. I can't keep hurting people, helping you hurt people. I think you can. And I think you will. You've done well so far. But I do think it's time for you to open the book and read it. It will help you understand. The combination is 10925. I'll expect a thorough book report tomorrow morning. Chat log from Polter Zeitgeist Find That Ghost, 7818, beginning 935 a.m. Do you understand now? I don't know. Maybe. Are you ready to continue? Do I have a choice? You always have a choice. I'm ready. Good. Find the little corn shuck ghost in the box. Chat log from Polder Zeitgeist. Find that ghost. 7-12-18. Beginning... 8.42 p.m. I'm inside. Everything is prepared. Good. Chat log from Polter Zeitgeist. Find that ghost. 7.12.18. Beginning. 9.25 p.m. Sam Morris has been claimed. Work is done. Work is far from done, but you've taken another step down the dark path I've shown you. I'm proud of you. I think... I think I enjoyed it this time. I know. That's good. What is happening to me? You're finding your true self. Can I look in the metal box yet? In due time, my love. All in due time. Text 
text log, 11.8.18, beginning 11.14 a.m. Good morning. Morning. Is it time for me to pick another person for you? No. We're past that, I think. Open up the app. Another gold star? Another for me? Yes. This is over four hours away. Which is why you need to start getting ready. You'll need to leave within the hour. Why this person? I have my reasons. Just because I've shared things with you doesn't mean you're entitled to know everything. I'm sorry. I was just curious. I'm nervous. Can you tell me the time and location? I like to know so I can plan. Not yet. You need to be adaptable. But I will tell you expect more of a challenge than pushing a frightened girl off a parking deck. Now, get going. When you get within two miles of the star, you'll receive the specifics of your task. Okay. Thank you. Chat log from Poltergeist. Find that ghost. Eleven eight eighteen, beginning four twenty three p.m. Okay, I made it here and I got the instructions. So I have to kill this guy between five and five fifteen. But I'm at a shopping mall. If the star is right, he's in there somewhere. Can't I wait until there are less people around? No. Does it have to be this Alex Turney guy anyway? How about if I just pick out someone else? You're wasting time. If I were you, I'd spend more time looking things over and formulating a plan rather than whining like a petulant child. Okay. I'm going. Wish me luck. Chat log from Polter Zeitgeist, find that ghost, 11 8, 18 beginning 6.01 p.m. What the fuck was that? What was what? You set me up. What do you mean? I mean you fucking set me up. He knew I was coming. There's no way he didn't know I was coming. Why do you say that? Because, look, I went into the mall, okay? I used the star as long as I could, but it took me into an apartment store and there were a lot of people around. The star wasn't accurate enough to be useful at that point. I had his picture from the app, but it still took a while to find him without being obvious. And I turned the corner and saw him looking at shoes like 10 feet away. I didn't catch him looking at me, but he suddenly sat down the shoe he was holding and started moving fast toward the back of the store. I saw he was heading to the bathroom, so I figured this was my best shot. I followed him. I saw the door to the men's bathroom closing as I got near. I took out the gun I'd brought. I hadn't been sure how I was going to muffle the shot, but then I saw him wearing a thick coat. I figured I'd make him take it off, wrap the gun in the coat, and shoot him in the mouth. Try to make it look like a weird suicide if I could, or, or at least buy enough time to get away. What were we going to do about security cameras? Or anyone who saw you and remembered? I wore a hat and tried to blend in. Never looked up at any cameras and never touched anything after entering the mall until I touched the door handle going into the bathroom. I planned to wipe it down on my way out, but things didn't go according to plan. When I went to that bathroom, he jumped me. From above. The fucker was holding himself up above the door somehow, just waiting. Huh. Interesting. No. Fuck that. He almost killed me. He pinned me down and took the knife away. I think he broke my wrist. He's a big fucker, but he's way faster than me. I've never seen anyone so fast. So why aren't you dead? He said he didn't want to end it yet. Then he told me, run, hard and fast. 
Don't worry, I'll find you again soon enough. That sounds like him. Always so dramatic. So you did set me up. No, not really. I didn't tell him that you or anyone else was coming for him, but he is further along the path you are starting down. He's not easily shaken. <laughs> so you're pitting all your little pets against one another, is that it? Pets. <laughs> your petty indignation and complaints are tiresome. You're being given a gift, and yet all you ever do is complain. Look, I'm sorry. I'm just hurt and scared. I thought I could trust you. You can. Then what do I do? This maniac you had me go after will hunt me down. I can feel it. So what's next? It sounds to me like you should run. Hard and fast. Text log, 11.10.18, beginning 2.41 p.m. Video upload failed. Video upload failed. Video upload failed. Shit. My service sucks here. I'll have to send you the movie later. Can, can you get this? Yes. Cool. Sorry about the delay. It was everything you said it would be. I wish I could show it to you. Tell me. The guy, Simon. He knew Alex was coming for him just like you said. I followed him from the mall. He went to some cheap motel for a couple of hours, but I guess he got too antsy because he left there before midnight and spent yesterday moving from place to place. First an all-night diner, then a grocery store, then a library. Then he went to the airport and bought a ticket for a domestic flight. I thought he was going to actually fly off, but he just spent the next several hours sleeping at one of the gates in those uncomfortable chairs. Oh, poor baby. <laughs> yeah. Security finally started hassling him today, though, asking about what flight he was waiting for and stuff. So he wound up going to a little restaurant down the road from the motel he'd stayed at for half a minute. This was just over an hour ago, and it was kind of a shitty place, but it was still busy that close to lunch. I went in a few minutes after Simon did. Got a booth against the wall where I could keep an eye on him. It was funny. He kept looking around like somebody was goosing him. Super skittish, right? Right? And then his head came up. I had a bird dog once. That's what it reminded me of. But I'll be damned if Simon didn't look up right as Alex came in. It was like you said it can be. When you're following the path, you can sense other travelers. Pilgrims. Shit, yeah, pilgrims. Well, Simon was sure as shit feeling something, though it might have just been piss in his pants. <laughs> Continue. Sorry, yeah. So Alex comes in, dressed normal but not trying to hide. As he heads up the aisle toward where Simon is sitting, Simon loses his shit. Gets up from his table, starts screaming for someone to help him. That this guy, Alex, was crazy and trying to kill him. He'd been stalking him. Now, all while he's doing this, Simon's looking around. He's waiting for a reaction. He expects the waitress to start freaking out, calling the cops. He thinks that old couple with the kid is going to huddle down or run for the door. But then he realizes... None of that is happening. They're all just watching. Watching and smiling. I realized I was smiling too. And I don't mind telling you that it freaked my shit out a bit. But it was really good too. It felt like... Right. Like truth. Capital T, truth. Yes, that's the way it is sometimes. Well, Simon has realized by this point that he's alone. No help coming and only ten feet from the monster that's after him. I'll give him credit. When he got him from the table, he'd taken the steak knife with him. He said he'd had a gun, but he either didn't bring it in or he panicked and forgot about it. But 
He still tried. When Alex came for them, he didn't try to get away until he was already screaming and instinct had kicked in. I stayed until the end. After Alex was done, he and two of the others took Simon away. The other people... I don't really understand. It was like nothing happened. I watched that old couple with the little boy finish eating lunch with drops of blood on the side of their glasses. Were they all plants by you or, or Alex? All in on the joke? <laughs> what do you think? I don't see how. I would be like 20 people. But what else could it be? Mass hypnosis or something? Uh, I don't know which idea spooks me more. Anyhow, I recorded all of it, but like I said, I'll have to wait and send it in a bit. That's fine. Just make sure you do. Sure, sure, but do you mind if I ask a question? Go ahead. Who was Simon, anyway? Just some dude? <laughs> yes, just some dude who found my phone. And he tried walking the dark path for a moment, but like most, he failed. So he wound up as meat for Alex. Path is a razor that bleeds you. Until you finish it, or it finishes you. So they say. Chat log from Poulter Zeitgeist Find That Ghost. 11-10-18. Beginning 5.15 p.m. I haven't heard from you since you've dealt with Simon. Alex, are you alright? I am. I've just been thinking. About? About him. There, at the end, he knew he was going to die, but he still fought. And for a second, I thought I could see the glow around him. Like he really was a pilgrim, like me. Like us. For a second I thought he was. But that's the point. The journey we're taking, the path is narrow with room for only a few. Only one of you could progress any further, and he had little chance against you. I guess. I don't dream anymore. Did I tell you that? For all the changes, I think that bothers me the most. I didn't either when I was where you are. You'll have new dreams soon enough. It's time I told you how to use the box. I know it's mentioned in the book, but I, I don't understand what it really is. What's inside? It's called a box of shadows. And if your heart is right... It will show you the place that the dark path is leading us. The realm? The kingdom of dust? Yes, my love. Are you sure I'm ready? I am. I wouldn't risk it if I wasn't. When can I see you again? <laughs> Look up. I'm already here. <laughs> 